morning in Boston, investigators are focusing with fresh intensity on the widow of Tamerlan Sarnayev, Catherine Russell. This as we're learning the official cause of death for the suspect. His body still sits in a funeral home with no one willing to bury it. ABC's Gio Benitez has been on this story for weeks now, and he joins us this morning here on the set with the latest. Gio, good morning. Dan, good morning to you. Cemeteries in New Jersey, Connecticut, and Massachusetts have already refused to bury the body of the alleged bomber. This as investigators try to figure out if his widow knew about the plan. This morning, cemetery after cemetery is refusing to bury the body of alleged Boston bomber Tamerlan Sarnayev. The body is at a funeral home in Worcester, Massachusetts, and many residents are furious. My sympathies are not with this terrorist, but with the families who, who are now suffering the loss of limb and life. He just bombed us and we're taking care of him. It's not fair. The funeral director who picked up Sarnayev's body says he's looked for burial plots in three states. What do you mean just leave it? They don't do that in this country. We bury the worst of the worst here. He says Tamerlan, who was reportedly run over by his brother Jahar after a firefight with police, died of gunshot wounds and blunt trauma to the head and torso. This as we see what may be the bomb-making factory, Tamerlan's apartment. Jahar allegedly told investigators that he and his brother built the bombs here. Overnight, ABC News spoke with the father of one of the students accused of trying to get rid of Jahar's laptop and backpack full of fireworks. From the beginning, I did not believe, and I do not believe right now, that my son is guilty. I don't believe it. And what about Tamerlan's wife, Catherine Russell? ABC News has learned the female DNA found on one of the bombs is not hers. Either way, the FBI still wants to know what Tamerlan may have said to her in a phone call just days after the bombing. And a lawyer for the widow has said she knew nothing about the bombing plan and was shocked when it happened. Meanwhile, Jahar has told investigators that his brother was the leader and author of the plan. So still, weeks later, so many questions. So many and continuing questions. questions about whether we can believe what Jahar is saying, of course. Absolutely.